everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how you could zoom in on your Mac just like this with a pre-built setup on your Mac. If it's your first time here, I make tech tutorials just like this one five times a week, so please consider subscribing. So let's jump into system preferences. I'm actually going to use this zoom option just to show you how it works. So let's go to system preferences here. Let's go ahead and click that to open it. Let me uh, zoom back out. And under system preferences, there's an option here on the bottom called accessibility. Let's go ahead and click that one. And I'll zoom back out again. Let me zoom back in just to show you a little better. And here there is an option called zoom. Go ahead and click that. And this is where you turn this option on and off. So use keyboard shortcut to zoom. I have that checked on and use scroll gesture with a modify key. So in this case, I have option and I'm using a magic mouse. So if I hold option down, I could zoom out with my finger and zoom in. That's this option here. So if I turn this off, it won't work. If I turn this on, it will work just like that. And you could use command or control as your keyboard modifier. Also, I like option. I don't use option very often. So that's how I'm gonna zoom in. And with the keyboard shortcut, you got option, command, and eight equal or minus. So let me just show you. If I hold command, option, and plus, it'll zoom all the way in and minus will zoom all the way out. So that's a way to seamlessly zoom in and out with a keyboard shortcut if that's what you like. And you could change the speed and the way this zooms in. So if I go to options here, I could do the maximum zoom to be A12. Right now it's at four. So when I do it, it goes four times. But if I do eight, it will go eight times, much more close. So it depends on what you want to do and you got a minimum zoom, you got some other options here. And I like continuously with pointer. This way when you zoom in like this, it will follow your pointer as you move around. So I'm going to press OK here. Let me come back out. And the other option I wanted to show you here is zoom style. So right now I'm on full screen. So when I zoom in, the whole screen zooms in. But if I change it to picture in picture, it will just zoom in on the area that I'm talking about and the rest of the screen stays the same. And again, this moves. So if I use my mouse, I'm using option on mouse, this keyboard modifier here, and I could just show you things around the screen really easily. Now, one more thing to note, if you are on Mac iOS High Sierra, this operating system, this option doesn't actually get recorded when you do a screen capture. So it will actually distort the screen when you zoom in. This option will work, this picture in picture, but the full screen option when you zoom in, it actually distorts the screen. And I'm actually using a camera to record my screen in this case, just to be able to do this presentation. Otherwise, when I do this, when I'm using a screen capture like OBS, it distorts the screen. And that's just a bug in the operating system that I'm hoping Mac will soon fix at any time. It's been around since Mac iOS High Sierra came out and still March of 2008 is still a bug. So hopefully by the time you check it out and you're using this operating system, the bug will be gone. So you could do screen captures and do full zooms and get those recorded. In the meantime, you could use the picture in picture setting if you're using this for any screen capture. And this is not just the OBS. QuickTime has the problem with screen capture screen flow really any mac screen capture software will have that distortion happen and i couldn't find a solution to it because it's a mac problem right now with this operating system anyway i hope you found this useful please give it a like and subscribe to this channel like i said i post tech videos and mac tutorials just like this one five times a week so i really hope to see you on the next video thank you so much for watching